Welcome once again. This is a very, very exciting video for me because this is something that has been on my mind very much lately, and that is the Mark of the Beast. Now, there are a lot of different theories about the Mark of the Beast. I have studied this since the early 90s. Actually, I've studied this since, I believe it was 1991. But a few weeks ago, all of a sudden, this hit me, and I want to share this with you. Now, it's a well-known doctrine from the ancient prophets that there is coming a day when this world will end. And the book of Revelation is all about that day. Now, it says in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, that there will be a man who will come on the scene, what we would call the Antichrist. And it says that he, the Antichrist, will cause all to receive a mark in their hand or in their forehead. And if they don't have this mark, they cannot buy or sell. They cannot do business without this mark. One very important thing that you must understand here, and that is that the book of Revelation is based upon the scriptures that were written before it, okay? We're talking about Genesis. We're talking about Ezekiel. We're talking about Isaiah. We're talking about the holy scriptures that were in circulation before the book of Revelation was written. That's very important to understand here because the book of Revelation talks about the mark of the beast being in the hand or the forehead, okay? The mark of the beast is the mark of the devil. Now, one might say, well, where else in the Bible is it talk about like a mark that's in the forehead? In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, it says that there is an angel that will go out and will mark people in the forehead with God's mark. Okay, this is the mark of God now. This is the opposite to the mark of the beast. It says that this angel goes out and finds people who are vexed by the abominations in the land. It actually says in some translations, sighing over the abominations, over the sins, the abominations of the land. So those people are marked with a spiritual mark by an angel in the forehead, the mark of God. It's an unseen, invisible mark that only the spiritual realm can see. Could it be that the mark of the beast is the same kind of thing? It's an invisible mark put on you by an angel. Maybe an angel of God, maybe a fallen angel. But it's a mark that's put on you by a spiritual entity. So the theory is this. The mark of the beast is the same kind of thing as we read about in Ezekiel chapter 9. However, it's the opposite. Just like the angel marked people in Ezekiel chapter 9 that were vexed over the abominations in the land. So, the mark of the beast, the mark of the devil, very well could be an invisible spiritual mark put upon those who are not vexed over the abominations in the land. And the scriptures are clear. Not every sin is an abomination. In fact, only a few sins are labeled as abominations according to scripture. Now let's focus right in on this, okay? There's an angel in Ezekiel chapter 9 who finds people who are vexed, who are just utterly distraught over the abomination. Okay? Not every sin, but the abominations, the abominable sins of the land. Then there are those, as we read about in Revelation chapter 13, that are marked with the mark of the devil, the mark of the beast. This is a mark very much like the mark of God that we read about in Ezekiel chapter 9. It is invisible. It is something that you do not see, something that is not tangible in the physical material realm. Now, I want you to think about this for a minute. Those who have the mark of the beast can buy and sell. They can run their business. They're okay. They're, they're, they're approved. But those who do not have the mark of the beast, those who do not have the mark of the devil, they have the mark of God. They're the ones that are completely, utterly disgusted with the abominations in the land. They are very much restricted. They can't buy and sell like the other ones can. Now think about this. What's happening in the world today? There is a group of people today that if you speak against them, they will come at you. They will try to shut your business down. They will try to get you censored. They will try to get you defunded. They will try to get you demonetized. They will try to get you fired. They don't want you to be able to buy or sell without accepting their abomination. Are you getting me here? This is powerful. Could it be that right now we're on the precipice 
of having Revelation chapter 13 fulfilled right before our eyes. If you are vexed, if you sigh deep within your spirit over the abominations that's going on right now in the world. Now again, we're not talking about just every sin. We're talking about the things that the scriptures call abominations. If you are that kind of person where you're vexed, then you are marked with the mark of God in your forehead. But if you're not, if you're the kind of person that accepts the abominations and God forbid promotes the abominations, then you're good. You're good. You've got the spiritual mark of the devil. You're free to buy and sell. You're free to run your business. Oh, but if you say anything against a particular group of people, the group of people that just can't be criticized, the group of people that are actually dictators, then they, carrying banners of love, will come to destroy your life. Think about it. You are vexed over the abominations and you receive that invisible spiritual mark of God or you accept it and you receive the mark of the beast. And don't forget to subscribe right now and make sure you're notified because I'm going to be posting videos that are hot off the spiritual press. And as you know, things are changing in this world at breakneck speed. Corruption is setting in at a rate that we have never seen before. Share this video today as the message needs to get out right now.